And we're going to continue to talk about back to school, of course, note taking, something that can lead to your success in the classroom. Julian Sanders, tech expert from London Drugs, joining me now. And Julian, things have definitely changed from the notebook, paper, and pen style of taking notes to what you've brought with you this morning. Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of people that are used to typing notes on a computer, but they don't really do anything with them. A lot of people just use uh, Word and then they uh, kind of edit them. They play around a little bit, but that's just a really basic use these days. There's a a lot of really easy to uh, use free services like Microsoft OneNote that unlock the potential of your notes and it lets you pull in things from anywhere, uh, stay more organized. A lot of uh, students these days have tablets. Uh, it's important that you have a comfortable, easy way to write, uh, so a good keyboard is a necessity. Uh, but then when you're uh, using something like OneNote, so it, it basically, you can think of OneNote like a scrapbook that you might have used before where you'd make a bunch of clippings and then you would uh, tape them in the book. You can pull sources in from anywhere on the internet. You can update it live with spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and it works across all devices for free. So it doesn't matter if you're an iPad, an Android, uh, it even works just on the web. So it makes it a lot easier uh, that way. Uh, there's a lot of people too that get paper, of course, especially from the professors. Not all of them will give you a digital form. And you can just grab your phone and take a picture of the document and it will put it into OneNote for you. So uh, you don't even have to worry about fiddling with the scanner. You can even just use your phone or your tablet tablet's camera to help you keep it all in one place. And the options with that app sound absolutely endless. Uh, how about note sharing with this or if you're going to be in a study group or maybe uh, your study buddy missed some classes, uh, what are our options as far as sharing with people? Uh, very easy actually. You can, you can share it publicly if you want to or you can just invite people to collaborate. So if you're on a group project you can actually merge all of your uh, notes together and it'll track who did what. So then you can see who contributed each piece. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, keep everything all together. And I love that a tablet is so easy to carry uh, compared to a laptop in your backpack. For so sure. it's nice and light, but the accessories as well, we touched a little bit on. Uh, what would you recommend would be the ideal accessories to go along with your tablet this school year? Uh, well, a uh, really good stylus is one that uh, I always recommend. Uh, I brought a couple along with me. Uh, these are uh, two examples. Uh, this one here on the top is called an active stylus. And uh, you can see that the tip is much smaller. So it's closer to a real pen. Uh, these ones have a battery. They don't work with uh, Bluetooth though, they work on any touchscreen surface. And then the bottom one is just a nice retractable. A lot of people were losing nibs and these, uh, these guys here uh, have a little retractable one. So that helps a little bit when you're trying to be more accurate hitting the screen. And uh, it just makes your whole uh, uh, tablet a little less smudgy from people's hands too if you give them the stylus. <laughs> <laughs> and what other accessories have you brought with you because we have uh, a light keyboard. Right, yeah, this is the Microsoft Wedge keyboard. It works on uh, any laptop or tablet with Bluetooth, and uh, it's a full-size keys, so it makes it a lot faster to type on. Uh, one that I always uh, wish I had was a portable speaker. I went to university many, many years ago, and speakers were very big. Uh, this little guy beside here is the Bluetooth piston, and uh, it's even a speaker phone. So if you want to, you can groove out to your notes and then accept a Skype call. It'll, it has a microphone, so uh, it'll even be your way to communicate with the outside world and then it'll just resume your music when you're back. Perfect. Well, <laughs> making back to school very simple uh, and very tech savvy. Julian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Julian Sanders, tech expert from London Drugs.